your senior and junior pastors, and I wish to commend the entire congregation that yesterday you had a very beautiful launch of this program and the attendance was massive. You had opportunity also to roam through the streets to create the awareness. And when I had opportunity to be with you, I promise you that I'll be with you this morning. Your time was seven o'clock. And when I even got here, you're already on the ground. So not only are you a man of your word, but you are very much time conscious. These are two critical things that our country needs to be able to progress and develop. I've been with you for the past two, three hours, as you said, and the kind of commitment your good self and your senior pastors and then the entire members of the church uh, have put in is uh, mind-blowing and i want to use this forum to thank the church of pentecost the chairman and the ecclesiastical uh, leadership of the church for not only focusing on salvation salvation of the soul and that if the country does well, then the church does well. And alongside preaching the gospel of the word, obeying the commission in Matthew, adding social responsibility, such as catering for the needy. And I read part of your 2023 vision where you are into all areas, education, health, uh, disability, and then also caring for the environment, one of which is uh, environmental sanitation. And this morning, up to this point, you have done a yeoman's job. I want to ask members of the Pentecostal Council, or is it, that, that, that is it, yeah. Ghana Pentecostal Council, that it must not be left to only the Church of Pentecost. But this is a good thing. This is what the country needs, that you do not only uh, mount the pulpit to preach the good news. This is also good news.